This is my Suzuki DRZ400S. I put a IMS oversized tank on it. Last time I took this thing on the road, I put it on my trailer and uh, I didn't have a wheel chalk for it. So I ended up putting the factory kickstand down and uh, clamping it down on the kickstand. And if you'll notice, of course I unbolted it, but this kickstand ended up getting bent. It's hollow inside and I was trying to uh, cut some slivers in it and re-weld it back into shape. It got out of hand. I couldn't get it even close. Even if I was able to get it somewhat close, by the time I was bending it up, it was sticking out great far. So the, the angle was exceedingly difficult to find. So I went a different route. And that different route was, instead of just buying a new kickstand, by itself, I went ahead and chopped my frame up. The thing that the kickstand bolts to is this big heavy piece of steel right here. First, I guess, let me just show you. This is a very expensive Trail Tech kickstand that I purchased one for my KTM and I'm really happy with it. Works fantastic. But let me show you what I got going on here. Some of the DRZ guys will really appreciate this because the kickstands are junk and People are too scared to cut and weld on stuff like me, but I took my less than 2,000 mile bike and I just took a grinding wheel straight to it. Look, I'm even working on it with Irwin pliers. They're, if I was using some Nipex, at least it would have some integrity to it, but I'm straight up using some Irwin jank pliers potentially scratching stuff. How cringeworthy is this? But anyway, this uh, big chunk of metal here, I chopped it off. That's what originally held the kickstand into place. So with that removed, we have this tab behind it. And that's what this bearing roller mounts to. It's supposed to hold the chain up like this. I actually do need to go one more notch on my chain because if it gets too loose, you can start prematurely wearing into your plastic chain block. And uh, I'm eventually gonna need to change the inside of this. I'm due for tires pretty soon. The middle's getting flat. Front tires, well the tire could, could use at least flopped. You can take it off, flop it the other way, and then you have a little bit more bite. But back to the kickstand. So what I think I decided to do was this isn't gonna be too difficult to line up, but I didn't really wanna get too extravagant. I thought about just cutting this off altogether and then uh, going through this bottom, because this is not made for this bike. This is made for a KTM. So there's a couple different things I need to, I need to make sure that it's at the proper height like this. And then of course it needs to be within here. I need to bolt it in right here. I took this bolt out. That's how it bolts on the KTM is this top bolt fits right here and the bottom bolt fits in a hole in the frame right here. So in this particular case, I'm actually gonna try to just go ahead and line it up with this hole right here. And I'm gonna put a longer bolt through there that goes all the way through. But I have to weld it on this bottom side and I have to put a bolt through the top side. So I already started the video with showing that bolt through there. And then the top here, see it, it fits right behind which I don't care about these passenger pegs either. Uh, I don't really plan on taking any passengers on this bike. So I might take these off anyway, but as it is right now, if you fold it up, it seemed like it wanted to fit behind that. So my next step was to just chop up this brand new hundred some dollar, like $160, I can't remember how much this thing is. It's over a hundred dollars. I'm gonna chop it up. I started cutting it right here. I'm gonna kinda like, we'll see what I end up doing. I'm gonna get the grinder back out and I'll show you. And there it is, folks. I was going to 
welded in right here. But after I put both of these bolts in, it's sturdy enough to where I don't need to do squat. All you gotta do is put an extra long bolt in right there, chop this portion off, and you can put a KTM Trail Tech, my favorite kickstand on this bike. And here's the best part. It weighs less, and it's way out of your way. Look how perfect that is. Look how sturdy that is. That, my friends, is a sick kickstand. Yeah, I was a little bit scared at first, but you just gotta believe in yourself. It's okay sometimes to chop your frame up. Until next time, Naptown Tuner.